Good morning guys, how are we? I'm back in the workshop again after a week away from it. Um, just thought, I just put this little video on because while I've been away I had loads of emails and questions about the best way to knock bats in. It's coming to that time of year again. You know, people are buying new bats, getting getting ready for the season. And uh, people don't know how to knock bats in now. Now, when I was playing professional cricket, I was fortunate in the, view, in, the, in the view that we could have throwdowns every single day. So we never used a mallet, we never used one of these, we just went and hit balls. And just through that experience, I always say to people, that can be overused and overtrusted. Okay, so people talk about having six hours with a mallet and it's ridiculous you can do too much knocking in actually damage your bat in my opinion so for me if you, if possible um what you need to do is if you've got a mallet you're not gonna have throwdowns every day get the mallet and work on that bottom bit that no one wants to do the toe there no one wants to do it. Don't go over the edge, okay? Don't go right over, just on the face. You can gently start off gently and build it up. Then up the edges. Again, start off gently. And you'll always do some in the middle because you feel that, okay? That's lovely, it just prepares the fibres. So if you do that 10 minute stints, do about half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour if you want to, just no, there's no defined time, so every piece of willow is different. But then, I always say if you go out and have an hour's throwdowns with some decent used balls, something like that, it's not brand new, but it's still got a decent seam on it, and you can stand, if you can have someone throwing balls, and you can stand just literally dinking them back to start with, just almost pushing them back, have a look at your bat, it's got deep seam marks in the willow, you know, it wants a little bit more. If it's just shallow seam marks in the willow, that's not, not bad at all. And you can start, you start building your hitting up. And the bat will tell you, because you look at your bat and you think, oh, that's all right, I can hit a bit firm, a bit firm, and build it up. And what that does, it starts to release the bindings on the handle and the the, the uh, laminates in the handle as well so you start to get that all-round performance because the handles start off stiffer and then they release but it also helps knock the bat in properly okay the mallet will never replicate that so what people tend to do is they get giddy they've had someone or they've used the mallet and they've whacked it probably seven bells out of the blade for about three hours, thinking that's done the job. It hasn't. You can't replicate a cricket ball hitting the cricket bat with a mallet. So then they go out in a net and try and blaze it. Oh, this feels great, this feels great, and dink a bat. The worst thing you can do, even when you first go in a net, if you've had you know, a good session with a mallet, stand and just be careful and just gradually build the bat up. Don't get giddy. You know, I know it's easy to get carried away, but don't. The best thing you can do is just build it up. And the bat will tell you when it's ready. You can feel it. You can tell you grow confident with it. You look at it, it tells you there's not big dints in it or cracks. or it, You'll get the odd surface crack. That's a, that's a sign of a good piece of wood, actually. It's the deep cracks that you don't want. But just build it up slowly. That's the best way to knock a bat in.